Hello and welcome, my name is Sarah and I create mod tutorials for The Sims 4. In today's video we're gonna go over preferences. Now if you're here because your favorite mod uh, with your favorite likes and dislikes isn't showing up in game anymore then please skip to the add preference category into game chapter. You can find that chapter in the description down below. Now in today's video we're gonna go over two things. First thing we're going to create our very own likes and dislikes traits and then these will be added into a category already existing in game. The second thing is we're gonna create our own category and like I mentioned earlier I'm going to show you how to add this category in game. Now be careful though because adding this category is an override and an override means it's not going to be compatible with any other mod that has um, likes and dislikes options. Now again I'm going to go over this and we will discuss this later on in the video and I will show you the best solution for this. But first things first, let's just create our very own preference. So let's dive into it and let's get modding. Now in front of me, I have opened my preference package file. If you want this package file um, to start with, to follow along, to get exactly the same files that I'm using, you can download it in the description down below. So the current files I have opened is the object preference item. This is basically just a file that will say in what category this preference is and which traits are the likes and dislikes. Um, then we got the dislike trait and then we have the like trait. I have added a icon and then here is my string package file. First things first, I'm going to give everything its own tuning ID, except for the icon, because this icon is directly from game. Now, if you don't know how to get icons or if you don't know how to work with text, um, please watch my icons and text video and now I'll explain everything about icons and text. So now I've given every single file its own instance, its own tuning ID, so nothing will be an override. One thing I want to mention is that traits, um, except for gameplay traits, I believe, but any other traits are not 64, but 32. Here I have my text, which is the XOSTR traits, sim preference, legs, activities, flower arrangement. Um, so instead of like normally we copy the FNV64, um, but instead of copying the FNV64, we are actually using the FNV32. So that's for any trade except gameplay trade. Now going back into the object preference item, I'm going to make sure that the dislike and the like have the correct tuning ID. Now easy to now to do this, we're just going to copy the tuning ID, um, which should also be the same numbers in here. And then uh, that was dislike. So I'm just placing that over there and then copying my checks because that's just the way I like to work. Um, and then this one as well. And that is that. So now for dislike, it should be the dislike flower arrangements. And then for like, make sure it is the likes flower arrangement. Now I also got to copy this numbers again and go into the sim data and make sure that those are also correct. Now to make this a little bit easier, I have opened the TDESC builder and then opened this exact um, object preference item file in here. Um, so now I'm just going to go into the object item definition and then make sure I have the correct um, tag set added. Now we are creating a flower arrangement like and dislike. So I'm just going to copy that functional flower arrangement and then paste that over here and delete the others. Now, once we've done this, our object preference item is actually completed and finished. Moving on, we're going into traits. So this is the dislikes flower arrangement. Um, first things first, we've got ages and now this is from teen 
to um, elder, so teen, adult, elder, and then a young adult. You can change this if you want, but of course, make sure to also change the sim data. Now we have here the BB filter tags. So I'm going to, I guess, just take the same one as that one and place that in there and then just delete all the others we've got buffs now this is a buff sim preference has preference activity i'm not 100 percent sure what this is so i'm copying the tuning id and then as always um look it up in here so we just got a hidden buff which doesn't seem to be um focused on gardening but just like a general buff so i'm just going to leave that as it is now this is of course a dislike so we gotta have a negative reaction and then we get to the conflict traits which is important now the conflict traits we add traits that are conflicting with this trait now of course this is a likes and dislike so we got to make sure that if you choose in game to have the dislike flower arrangement that it's not optional to also get the likes flower arrangements now this is called a conflict trait so we have to make sure to go into likes copy the tuning id and then just place that over there now i already know we have to do this for the other one so i'm just doing that at the same time go in like that and i also know that we have to copy that tuning id again and go into the sim data and find here conflict traits paste that in there and i'm going to do the same one for likes so I've just changed the display name from dislikes gardening to dislikes flower arrangement. Um, I'm copying that one to here as well. And then I'm just taking the string and also make sure that it's placed in here where it says display name. Then we get to the icon. So I already added the icon in here. So I'm sorry, copying the instance and then place that over there. I'm just gonna get rid of this whole P section. And then I'm also adding this into the sim data file over here where it says icon. And then we get to the preference item and there we just got to copy the object preference item and then paste that in there. And then I'm just taking that and paste it in here as well. One thing I did forgot to mention is if you use the BB filter tags, we also need to add this into the sim data like we got here. So I'm just going to get rid of those two and then paste the numbers. Now, the easiest way to get those numbers, um, what I did, I just went into the preference trait over here and then I made sure to click download sim data and then once you have downloaded it you can open it and then take the numbers from here and then paste those over here now i also have to make sure to add those to the likes now moving on the last thing we have to change is the trait description and then once you've done that you've actually created your very first dislike trait now I'm just going to copy most of these things over into the likes and make sure that everything is the same. Now, once you're done and you've gone over the dislikes and the likes, it's actually just done and we can click save and then add this file into our game and test it out. Now here we are in game. Um, so I have opened to chaos. So first things first, we're going to pick preferences. Now our preference should be in the activity category. So these are all the categories over here. And I'm going to click on activities and then I'm going to find flower arrangement. So as you can see, it's over here. Um, now we can click like or we can click dislike. Um, uh, 
and Neebs. I'm going to click like uh -huh. and then I'm going uh, back into Ooh. game. There she is. And now over here in preferences, we have like and dislikes and we got our likes flower arrangement um, preference. So that was how to add a preference to already an existing category into game. Now let's get out of game and let's create our very own category. Now for my preference category, I have chosen the activities preference category as my template. So um, to add that, just use these numbers, two, six, four, five, seven, six, uh, tools, extract, tuning, and then um, just place those numbers in here and then say add to current package file. First, we're going to customize this to what we want. Now I'm going to leave my traits like this and just basically add new flower arrangement into the new category we are creating. First things first, we got to make sure, of course, this has their own tuning ID. So let me do that really quickly. Now, the preference category also needs to be a FNV32. So I've done that and I'm going to now copy the tuning ID and make sure to add that into the preference item, which is the object preference item. Make sure to cast preference category, add that in here. So now our likes and dislikes flower arrangement is showing up in our very new category we are, we've created. Um, the only issue is that our category is not yet showing up in game. So we'll go over that in a minute, but first things first, we're going to customize this further because we cannot call this hobbies and skills um, and also the this one activities i'm going to rename that so now i have finished my cast a preference category so i chose the display names to be just nature and then i went for description just description i did add its own icon which is this love outdoorsy icon so i copied that instance number and then Oopsie, <laughs> and then place it into here. Now I still have to actually move everything into the sim data. So let me just do that quickly. So we have the instant display description, which is a description. So I'm going to find instant display icon. No, instant display description. Okay, so um, this one and then instant display name, which is then this one. And it's in the secondary icon tooltip. Okay, so we gotta take the tooltip, which is just the word description. And then we still got to add the icon and add that to icon over here. And then that's for that. You could also change this randomization number of preference. Um, so lower bound one, upper bound five, which just means if you click randomize in game, it would take a um, between one and five likes and dislikes from within this category um, randomly. They will pick one, two, five. Um, I hope that makes sense. Uh, but I'm just going to leave it as one, two, five. And then nothing else we gotta do into this. Now I'm going to save this because we've now created our very own um, category. I am however going to copy these numbers because I'll need them in a second. Um, yeah, so copy these numbers, save them and then I'm going to go into here to Sims for Studio and now I'm going to open the file where we need to add the category to make sure our category is actually showing up in game. So like I mentioned when Love Struck came out um, things change for preference categories. And it's not that easy to add preference categories into the game anymore. Now the solution is the Sims 4 mod, the custom preference mod by Zerbo. Um, as you can see, already a lot of mods that include preferences are added into this file already, including my mod Road to Wealth. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to download this from the Google Drive and then we're going to open this file into our Sims 4 Studio. 
So once you have opened the custom preference mod, um, we're going to go and find likes and dislikes because that's what we are working with. So here we have cast preference group, likes and dislikes. And then here we got like a whole list of likes and dislikes groups. Now, as you can see, my row 12 mod is already added into here. Um, so all I'm going to do actually now to test my group is working or to add any other preference group from any other mod into my own game is I'm just going to copy this and then it doesn't really matter where you paste it so I'm just gonna go in here and then in our own preference group we just made I'm just copying these numbers and then pasting those numbers into here now I'm going to give it a name Just going to call it mod tutorial test group xosdr because that's me now you also got to make sure to add a tuning id into the sim data so we're going sim data here group is not like and like i'm just going paste those at the end now i actually have to take this whole thing and then <laughs> paste them like that and then we, all we gotta do is just hit save. Now, the thing is, if you upload your mod for others to download, um, you can either refer them to this video and to have them do this themselves, or you can ask Zerbo to add your mod into the custom preference mod. Now, you might be wondering, why aren't we taking the tuning ID and then paste it into our own mod like I've done over here to just show you guys is that we are currently overriding and overriding is just a big no-no especially about files that are used so often now as you can see over here in the custom preference mod is that there are a lot of categories added from other mods which means that if you would do the override option is that the preference plus mod by Helene this season add-ons the age group lunar phase preferences by Chinju, um, other mods my road to 12 mod that they are not compatible with your mod and that's just something you don't want now that's why it's best to just ask servo to add your preference group into um, this file for everyone to download or you can like i said refer them back to this video to add it themselves i do want to mention that if you just are testing your mods and um, are testing if it actually works then this is a great option just to test your mod but you have to make sure to delete those files once you upload it for anyone to download so i'm going to save our preference um, package file and then i'm also going to save the custom preference mod now let's put both files into our mods folder and then open the game and actually have a look if it's showing up. So here we are in game. Now let's pick our preference. Um, and here we got description nature. <laughs> but as you can see, our um, category is showing in game. And there we got our flower arrangement, which we can either like or dislike. Um, it is also not showing anymore in the hobbies and skills um, preference. So let me go and click play. And as you can see over here in likes and dislikes, it now shows up as nature, likes and dislikes, dislikes, flower arrangement. And that was it for this video. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and subscribe to the channel if you want to know more about modding in The Sims 4. Now, don't forget to join my Discord, assign yourself the mod tutorial role to stay up to date with the latest tutorials. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye!